When a TCON's fuse is blown, don't just replace and power on. Take the following precautions. TV shows blank screen. It was checked elsewhere and the left side left unconnected. Now it boots up as we test for power to the TCON. Panel runs on 12 volts. Input side of fuse is OK. But output side reads about 2 volts. Obviously, something's wrong. Fuse is broken. Power off. Now disconnect the panel from TCON completely. Left side previously disconnected is highly suspect. Power on. Now we test again. Fuse output side reads about the same still. Power off. At this point we switch to continuity setting of the multimeter. Ensuring continuity is active. With one probe on ground, place the tip of the second probe on the output side of the fuse. Meter shows no short detected at power input. That's a smart, safe practice. Checking again to be sure. Now we can safely fix the fuse using appropriately thin wire. Applying fresh solder to the fuse. You may replace fuse with the same rating for this panel about 12 volts 3A. But following the rule of thumb, this wire's thinness is perfect. Nicely done. Now we check TCON for proper operation. Power on. Fuse output now reads 12 volts. Vital signs now OK. Now checking output signals to gate. Gate signals perfect. Power off. Next we connect the right side first and power on. Power on. Booting up. Power to drivers checks out. Three point three volts active. Everything else is fine. Now let's see what's happening on the panel. Please watch till the end to get the whole picture. So, right side is okay, but upon revealing the source PCB, 
we see why the left side was left unconnected at the start. Massive Corrosion and Burns Without the protective fuse, this would have damaged the T-Con. See why it's wise to take those precautions. See you at the next video.